Hey, Joe here from uh, Broken Boys 13, and I've uh, been doing my much long way to anticipate it. Hopefully, I've been talking about Resident Evil 5 walkthrough. And joining me, of course, is Mike, Dude of Rock 18. Hey. And Chris, Dark Avenger, C86. And why am I saying that? You, Mike, you're rubbing off the names. <laughs> 360. Yeah, yep. but uh, as I said in the various 360, speaking of that, I will not be doing the BSAM ones because it's uh, too time consuming. But this is more like a playthrough of the game. We'll be showing all the cutscenes and everything for people who haven't seen the game. And uh, without further ado, here goes Chapter 1 1. Yep. And I'll be playing as Chris. Those who Redfield. I don't know what will difficulty. Yes. Best character in the game, in my opinion. I put attack reaction, yes. Here we go. First cutscene is coming up. Okay. Okay, got everything set, yep. and here we go. Here goes. Chapter 1. Resident Evil History first. They show you all the time. Oh, well, yeah, about the whole origin story. Hope it's loud enough. I'll be 15 minutes apart also, guys, so, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna continue our channel here. Let's be quiet and see the cutscenes. I like the cutscenes. They're pretty good in this game. It should be a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe a little longer. Yeah, he's transforming now. He doesn't... Captain DeShant here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. Okay. Yeah, that's just showing you what uh, the enemies look like. The genie they're called, the zombies. I love this. It's like a movie. I was just about to say that. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium, which formed the Anti-Terrorism Unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Chris's Welcome to Africa. For this game only. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American, BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. I'll put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Oh, Jill Valens. She's bad. Yeah. You okay? What is she? Mm. Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go. She has a walk. I mean, one of them. Casualties continue to mount over the long <laughs> so years of struggle. I'm kidding. More and more, I find myself wondering. It's white screen. It's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day, I'll find out. You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm going to see it through. has the most cutscenes this chapter so that was like one of the longest ones yeah, and they come up with uh, those things so you guys could pause it if you're 
Yeah, yeah this is just random history. It begins now. Actually, the break through it. Yep. Chapter one one. And in the widescreen, you just get used to. I had to. This is Kirk. Chris, Sheva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud you and stop. They Kirk. stare at you. Yes, you. They stare into your soul. They do. Fuck. Oh, it's very realistic. Yes, I know. What's wrong? Roger that. Oh. Come in. Over and out. It's fine. Oh. Fine. This is one little thing here, guys. The option I have to put the control on default settings. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I was just doing it here. Control settings. Invert access. Default. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Because Chris plays on um, inverted. I always do default. Sorry, Chris. Okay, it's no problem. No, you just restart. You yes. Continue. No, I that. All right, now. There we go. Sorry, guys. I was wondering why I was looking up when I'm supposed to be looking at the guy. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to run now. Running, running, running. Apologies there for the little malfunction thing. Yep, another cut. Come on, It's quiet. Yeah, it's too quiet. And once again, I really apologize for that slight little delay that I didn't know what the control was first. I'm so used to default, I don't I'm, use it. I'm priority. sure they. No, I know, but for those people out there, that they want, just your preference. Talk to this guy. He's here to help you. Good. You're both here. Come. Why sounds so familiar? I don't know why. I know. Listen, I guess. I don't know. This started in the '60s, believe it or not. That uh, virus. Yeah. William Birkin, I believe, started this. You too. This way. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah. They really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. Yeah. Because I was staring at him. <laughs> Zach. The weapons, so you're here. They know. I'm Check talking. Them. Oh, welcome back. Yeah. These are the guns we'll be using. In the beginning of the game, anyway. Open. I already got it, but... Okay. Equip. I'm back. Oh, come back. Let's check this up in house. Destination coordinates. Town square is up okay. ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Okay. Good. Password. And what do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right. And apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Irving. He is our only lead. And be careful out there. Not gonna give any spoilers over it, guys. Remember the name Uroboros, because you'll be seeing that actually in Resident Evil 6, even. It carries on. It always get stuff like from here. Get you always look around. Yeah, you get ammo and stuff. There's Remember, some stuff. we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be as big as you, but I can still hold my hand. Oh, now watch this pile. What is that? Oh, yeah. My God. It's, I was playing this one when I first played. It was like, it's pretty scary. A little scary, but weary. Crows. I don't know why my, my camera keeps moving. I'm not going to investigate it because it just tells you it's like some dead thing. I don't know. Animal of some sort. Barrels. And then look 
What is it? Oh, an herb. I love that sound. That little, when you grab an herb. Oh, oh, yeah. Sound? Yeah. yeah. You can combine them, and I'm not going to do it yet. I believe yeah, you come across. Yeah, that door. Right now, now if you have upgrade weapons, just spot. came from that building. You're going to see someone, but first, what's that noise? Well, Let's see. Open. And one way to find out. Yeah, open the door. Also, you like how it fades out, like it does that fading Yeah, aspect. I like that. I like that. And then we got a little more history. That's at every loading screen. Well, it's good to know. Yeah. Now it's just power. Okay. Now. You're going to see the first infected. Watch. Oh my god. Obviously those two guys are already infected. Because I'll grab you if not in the damage. What the hell just happened? Yeah, that was your first. You just encountered a zombie. That's um, what happened. And they're known as Magini or Magini. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't think there's anything we can search in this room for. Yeah, Chris just is baffled by this. Nope, nothing there. Wait, let me see if Sheva has a thing. I'm gonna pick up a thing. No, she's only a machine gun. So I'm on my own here. Damn it, Chevy. Yeah, and there's no machine gun ammo yet, so. Nice. She needed that bulletproof vest. Like, okay. well, it's actually some melee vest. There's a bulletproof vest coming up. Right now, if you already. There's a secret treasure. It's only for the Chima, but. You can fight them, but I don't have enough firearms to fight them. Well, these guns aren't upgraded on this fire, so. We gotta run. There's two options. We need to get out of here. Run this get way. out, get out there, and run here. Yeah. No, no, no. There's a red herb. Yeah, but you can't get close yet. So she closes it. The locals were hostile and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency oh, plans for this situation, do we? Sure. Roger on the locals, but your orders still stand. What does that mean? Was H2 expecting this? Okay, now, for those who don't know, you mix a green herb with a red herb, and you get full health. So mix a green herb and a red herb. Green and green make a good herb too, but they're not as, this cures you 100% if you mix that. Just thought, you know, for those who don't know. I'm sorry about Chris who just passed through like that. And now you need to. It's actually pretty cool if you play with someone in co-op. Actually, Sheva can be the one in charge. But then she didn't help play Roger. Oh wow, you killed all three down. Oh, good. That's for her. I give her the machine gun. I don't like it really. I don't use it much. But Cheva usually, that's her gun of use anyway. She'll find stuff. Some people actually complained about the bot thing, but I actually it's pretty helpful. And this part. Going to little mice. You can shoot the mice full of money, but that's kind of like a eh, waste of time. And waste of bullets. Yeah. Ammo. You, know, you need it for other things like zombies or whatever else comes at yeah. you. Yeah. And I'll take the hang on because she don't have a hang on. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, since I have two green herbs, like I told you, combine the two herbs. I'll give, since I have so much help, I'll give one. She actually uses it on you when you need it. Give one to Sheva. It's good, to, it's good to give her something. Exactly. And yeah, I request, since... I need ammo. Take this. Thanks. You get an achievement if you keep saying thanks. Uh, There's an achievement called, who do you trust? Mm. Yeah. It's like they build a relationship. Yeah. Alright, well, we're close to actually... 
15 minutes? Is it gonna be a uh, uh yeah, it's gonna be like cutscene. This is a very sorry guys, I know if you hopefully you like this game. Alright, we'll stop there. Yeah, this is Alright, so we'll see you guys in part two. Yeah.